reach the ground My ears can't hear the sound of the tongue Reach the sky, we'll fly up to the moon I know we'll be there soon, wait and see Hello everyone, today I am doing an outfit of the day. Again, this is what I would wear if I was going out. I'm not going out. I have not been social. Uh, I think that's what I said in my last video as well. I do have lunch plans with a girlfriend coming up, so by the time this comes out, I will have gone out socially. But for the most part, I am still sticking to home. The topic of my video today is sweater sets. It's something that's sort of a private joke between my husband and me because I have loved sweater, sh sweater sets for years and collected them. I love cardigans with a shell. I love cardigans with a t-shirt, cardigans with a three-quarter sleeve t-shirt. This is what I have on today. And if I can't find a matching shell or tee to go underneath the cardigan. I have sometimes then bought a blouse that had a matching color, so at least I had somewhat of a set. I just think cardigan sets are so versatile. You can wear them together as a set. You can wear each piece separately with other tops. I can wear the cardigan by itself all buttoned up and it becomes a crew neck sweater. Some cardigans you can even turn them around. If they have labels, you can't do that if they have labels in the back, but some you can and then they button down the back and it looks like a crew neck sweater or pullover. It's just a great staple to keep in your closet, a uh, sweater set. The other thing that's great about cardigans is they don't have to be worn just like this. You can take the cardigan off, throw it over your shoulders, and it works like a shawl. I love doing that in the summer because it's a bit hot outside to wear the cardigan like this. So I will usually wear it over my shoulders when I'm walking around outside, if I will be outside for a while. And then I put it on when I go in the cold restaurant. Another way I like to wear cardigans is to button them up and to throw it over my shoulder and then tie the arms around my neck. Also, if you've got a cardigan with regular length, regular length arms, you can use it to create a waist on a t-shirt dress. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love doing that. I've got several t-shirt dresses that are just tubes. And so if I want to nip in the waist, I just tie a cardigan around my waist. And then when I'm in the restaurant, I put the cardigan on. They're just such a versatile piece. So even if you don't want to set, a cardigan on its own is great. Today, I'm mixing blush or pink, soft pastel pink, with chocolate brown, which is one of my favorite combinations. And I think I first fell in love with chocolate brown when I bought my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 back in 1994. It has that dark chocolate brown coated canvas. So does the Damier Aben, which is the bag I'm carrying today. Oops, I dropped something, hold on. And chocolate brown looks beautiful with pastel pink. It looks great also with bright pink. It looks beautiful with navy, ivory, white, it looks terrific with jeans. So as I was saying, I fell in love with chocolate brown when I first bought my Speedy 30. And I have found that it is not a color you see a lot in terms of accessories or clothing, but once in a while you do. That deep, dark chocolate color. And I have a few pieces. I have some jeans. I have the skirt I'm wearing today. And I also located some items online that are available.
This is the bag I'm carrying today. This is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's the Damier Eben fabric, coated canvas fabric. I bought this, or I should say my husband did. I asked it, I asked him for it for Christmas. And so Christmas 2019 is when I got the bag. I loved it because it had the rose ballerina interior. Now that's something, do any of you know why some of the colors are called rose ballerina and some are rose ballerine? I was checking online last night to make sure that's the color inside and I thought it was rose ballerine so I was shocked to see they're calling it rose ballerina, but they do. So I'm not sure if they must be two different colors, but I've seen leather goods at Louis Vuitton in Rose Ballerina and Rose Ballerine as well. But the lining is Rose Ballerina. So here is the inside of my bag. This is the most I would ever carry. I might put a shawl on top or a sweater on top if I wasn't already carrying one, but this is the most I usually carry. As you can see, I do have an organizer. It serves two purposes. It keeps me organized, but it also helps the bag keep its shape. I also store the bag with the organizer in it and stuffed. I said it's the MM size. It also comes in a smaller size and a larger, the GM. This was perfect for me. I have cinched in the sides to make it a rectangular shape, but you can take out the sides and it gives you more room. You can see it limits you a bit more because the sides come in. But this is plenty of room for me as an everyday bag. Okay, let me show you what I've got inside. First of all, I have my 11 Pro camera. It I have fitted on a side pocket vertically. Next to it in the next pocket is my key clay, or clay, that's repetitive. I, I was letting them dry. I actually wash, hand wash my keys every time I use them if I go out and then I let them dry. And they weren't totally dry last night when I was putting them back in the clay, so I, let, I was hanging them out to dry. But normally I keep them in the clay. So this is a Louis Vuitton clay. You don't have to use it for keys. I do. I've got one without a keychain. It's a Louis Vuitton monogram one I bought pre-loved, actually, without the keychain, and I use it for credit cards, so that is a really handy. These are especially great for inside leather bags when you don't want to scratch the interior leather of your bag. But they're also, I find them easier to find my keys because they're, I know that's my keys. They're not falling to the bottom of my bags. This is brand new. I have been trying to find a mini pochette in the monogram pattern for a couple of years. I succeeded several weeks ago when I went into our local Louis Vuitton at Waterside Shops. I love this little purse or pochette. It carries a lot more than you might think. It's compact. I love it. It's what I carry my all my little essentials. So I've got my, the lip colors I'm wearing, I will talk about those in a moment. I've got Kleenex, I've got all sorts of things in here. Kleenex, uh, my, what do you, my little knife, my inhaler, uh, mirror, my comb, is that about it? That's, that's about all. But it, it's just the, the cutest little pouch, and it's also very, very useful. So I do have one in the Aben pattern, uh, and I'm hoping to get one in the Azure as well so I can get all three. I, I absolutely love these pochettes. The same day I bought my mini pochette, I also bought this. I'm not sure what this pouch is called, if it's called a makeup pouch. Um, I have it also in Damia Azure. I wanted one in monogram to go in my Speedy as well as my Neverfull. I carry makeup in it, but also 
salad dressing. My bottle of salad dressing fits beautifully in here. I like to use this pouch because it's coated inside, so it's wipeable. So if makeup or anything spills, it's not going to ruin the interior. Although I will say these bottles, these four ounce bottles have never leaked and I've been using them for about six years. I put them in two Ziploc bags for safety and then into a pouch to protect whatever bag I'm carrying. The third item I got when I was at Louis Vuitton was this agenda. This is the small. They have a small, medium, and large. I was between back and forth the medium and the small and in the end I decided I would carry it more if it was smaller because it would fit in more bags but I have not gotten inserts yet because I wanted to wait and get 2021. I did locate, uh, I decided I'm not going to get the Louis Vuitton version because I would like to get a month at a glance and some other inserts as well that they don't sell. Uh, so I did locate some and I will be ordering those, but I tested the size out with this zipper pouch. So I think this is a really nice size. This is made in France. I'm just carrying my business cards here, but it's got three slots there and one slot here, slip pocket, and then a, another slip pocket here, uh, and a place for your pen here. This wallet is the Clemence wallet. I bought this, when did I get it? I got it at the same time I bought my handbag. And the reason was the pink. It also has the rose ballerina interior, has the leather zip pull, and these zippers are so wonderful. They're so smooth. It has a slip pocket here, a long pocket, and then slots for four credit cards, then a space here for money, paper bills, and then a zipper compartment for coins. I like that the interior of the zipper compartment is chocolate brown so it won't get marked up by the coins. Then another area here for whatever you like. And then over here are four more card slots as well as another slip pocket here. And then the pretty zipper pull. Love that. This is my leather pouch that I carry my charger in. These are available in a bunch of different colors. You can have it monogrammed like I did. Lastly, I have my glasses, sunglasses in here. These are Kate Spade. They are back in stock. They sold out and now they're back in stock. I thought these were perfect with my chocolate brown outfit. These are actually tortoise or faux tortoise. I think these are one of my favorite sunglasses. They're just so comfortable. I love these. I like them on top of my head often. If I'm not wearing glasses on my nose, this is where I wear them is on my head. Also in the middle compartment is my umbrella. Now moving to the side, one of the side pockets here of the organizer is my, these things are so handy, these oil blotting sheets. I've shown these to you before. You just take one out like this, uh, blot wherever you have excess oil on your face and it doesn't remove the makeup, it just gently removes the oil. So let me show you what this organizer looks like up close. On one side, two pockets. On the other side, it's plain. Inside, it has two pockets, inside here and here. On this side, it has one large pocket on the side. 
and then a pocket here, a pocket here, and then a pocket here for a pen or a lip product. And then you can put water bottles here, but I don't um, carry a water bottle that much, so I put usually an umbrella in one and my wallet in the other. And then all my pouches go inside there. This is so handy. I have one for both my speedies as well. I think these are terrific. My camera just shut off and I'm not sure what it recorded and what it didn't. But I packed the bag back up. The one thing that I did not put in my bag that comes with it is this pouch. I don't, I don't, I don't carry it with this bag. I like having a lot of smaller pouches. I just think this is a great value though to get this with your uh, tote. So if you want to use it, it's there. You can use it as a wristlet, which is how I have it set up, or you can unhook this and hook it to the interior of your bag. There is a D-ring there. But this is really, really cute. Here I've got my papers. But it's got the same pretty rose ballerina lining, striped. It has one slip pocket. Beautiful, their zippers are just so smooth. And then this great strap, so you can carry it as a wristlet. My lip colors, I'm wearing a lip pencil and a gloss. These are both by Zuzu Lux. Zuzu Lux products are all natural. I've been using this line of cosmetics for probably five years. These two I've been using for several years. This lip liner is the color Innocence. And the gloss is Dolce Vita. So I just lined my lips with the pencil and then I filled in the middle with the gloss. I didn't put the pencil in the middle of my lip. I just rimmed the outside and smudged it with my little finger and then put the gloss on the middle and pushed my lips together. And I really like this as a nude. I think it goes well with a, a lot of different shades of pink. So I didn't have to worry about trying to find an exact pink to match with this pink. So that's why I like this combination. This is really nice actually as a lip color itself with just a little bit of shea butter. Just fill in your lips. I need to sharpen that. But I, I love this combination. I will put information about my outfit, my makeup, my jewelry, my accessories, all the items in my bag on my blog with corresponding links to all those items and also any that are similar, as well as all the items I showed you that are available in blush and chocolate brown. Those will be on my blog and you'll find that link to my blog down below. I always put a link to my blog down below in three places. I pin it at the top of the comments section, I put it at the top of the description box, and I also put it inside the description box. That's how you can always find out about something I may not have talked about but I'm wearing. It's always on that corresponding blog post. And those of you who do go to my blog post and shop my links, I want to thank you so much because I really appreciate it. That lets the brands know that, that you think enough of me that you actually shop my links. And that is really important to me and I really appreciate it and thank you. My blog is the center of JLJ Back to Classic and that's why I ask you all to go to my blog. So all of you who do go to my blog and those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. In fact, if you want to make sure you find out as soon as I've posted a new video, 
you might consider subscribing to my blog because my subscribers find out firsthand when I do put out a new video. I would also appreciate it, of course, if you would subscribe here at YouTube and hit the notifications because if it works, then you will be notified. But I do know that if you, because I don't post very often, my videos don't always come up as having been published. So if you want to be sure, you can also subscribe to my blog. And those of you who are subscribers, thank you so much. Those of you who subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. I can't believe I will hit five years this month. Five years. It, just, it feels like I just started, to be honest. I feel like I'm just getting started because I still am so nervous when I do these videos, but not quite as nervous as when I started five years ago. Coming up next is my outfit. Thank you, all of you, for watching this video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.